apartments gated off now. It's crazy. This is how black the floor is. <coughs> um, <coughs> See this? I had to go back for this. I had to go back to find this. This is my grandpa. I had to go find this. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I had to go find it. Because, yeah, it's my papa. I had to. They said I had 30 minutes and I couldn't remember where I had put it, but I found it. It took me a while, but I found it. That was the most important thing, was finding this and finding my degree. That was about it. After going to look at the apartment, I got so depressed. <laughs> like, not only was it dark in there, but it was just black. Like, and the smell was just, it was the worst smell ever. And I couldn't really go much of anywhere but the living room because the rest of the apartment was pretty messed up so I got what I could out of the living room luckily a lot of my artwork and my degree and a lot of my art supplies were actually still intact they had smoke damage and a lot of soot on them but I just took a baby wipe to them and cleaned them up and they were fine but the rest of the stuff uh -uh. and we had to go through the back door because the front door was all boarded up. It was, it wasn't pretty. Like, it was not pretty. And you could see that it had, they had, a, they had it all fenced in. Like, it was, I was just like, oh, I don't even know why they even let, me go in there because I'm like what could I have possibly salvaged like I really wanted to get my degree because I'm like I can't get that back I, I, I can't it took me forever to get it because it was so much so many issues going on with the school I was at the day <coughs> They was trying to hold it for some stuff that happened at a different school, but that's neither here nor there. But once I left that building, I smelled so bad. I, I had to shower. I took a long shower, and I had to throw the clothes away that I had on because... I just knew that that wasn't coming out and I wasn't even in there long and it was just it went right when you walk in it hit you like you could smell it when you walk up on the apartment but when you open the door and it just oh my god it just hit you and I really wish I could have saved my grill, but I could just buy another one.
because I got it from Walmart. It was a small little, y'all remember my cute little grill that I was grilling my food on. It was just $13 at Walmart, so I can get another one of those. But that Keurig, <laughs> I probably won't be buying another Keurig. <laughs> Because them things is expensive. <laughs> the, oh, Jesus, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And then my dining room table and chairs and my computer desk. Like, yeah, it's all, it's, it all can be replaced, but it's going to take a while. Like right now, right now, I'm just worried about getting to bed. Right now, that's my issue is getting to bed and clothes hangers because I can just hang my clothes up and I'll be fine. <laughs> but my apartment isn't even ready. They still have to paint it and clean it, so... I'm going to be at my best friend's house for a couple of more days. So, yeah. But, I wouldn't wish a fire on nobody. Like, oh my God. This is, it's stressful. It's, it's like traumatizing. For real. And I already, I'm already stressed enough. Y'all know I go through so much. And this is the last thing I need. But I guess it's a new start. It's a fresh start. 2017 was just not my year. But it's okay. Because, hey, what can you do? And I really, I really feel like I was supposed to be at home, you know? And for some odd reason, like I had this theory the other day with the whole, and I'm not even a whole religious, I'm more spiritual than religious. And with all the, the Donald Trump stuff that's going on, and it was, I saw a Facebook meme the other day that said the world was about to end because of the whole, in the Bible it says it's going to, that the world was going to, you knew the world was going to end because of the trumpets or whatever. And it was like, yeah, you, you're going to see Trump and Pence. And that's what the trumpets was. And that God wasn't going to destroy the world in water anymore. It was going to destroy the world in fire so basically my world just ended so to speak and I'm pretty much having to start over all over again but it's okay because this has definitely been a journey this year has definitely been a journey. I've I've lost a lot from material things to even friends that call themselves my friends, but you know, whatever. And I've gained weight. Y'all can tell in my face. I have a fat face. I've gained fluid. I've gained 30 pounds of fluid because of the whole gout situation. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Because it's making me look all bloated. But I'll be okay. I'm still living it day by day. I'm still taking it one step at a time. That's all I can do. Well, that's about it. I'm going to take my morning medicine and find me some breakfast, which is probably going to be a bagel and some cream cheese. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs>